Okay. Um, this is a demo session. There's only one demo today. Uh, and it is demoing a, a new tool for the Thoth help site that will allow you to track your issues. Let me just pull up my screen. So on the help site, I'll drop a link for anyone interested. You have the option to navigate over to this page and give it a GitHub URL, I mean, a GitHub issue URL. It's pretty straightforward. You can either type it out. It's got, so if you had something that's not, if you had something that's not an issue, it gets upset. Um, but the valid issue URL in there, then you can press fetch. This will fetch you, fetch you the issue. You can see the progress it's in. It's gonna give you the title, the last there's updated, its status. You can navigate over to the issue if you want. You can look at a little bit more details, but this just gives you a little overview or broad overview of the issue. So if we look into our Thoth terms and conditions over here, um, we have different criteria for what makes a good issue. So criteria for a good quality issue. And we also have uh, criteria for issue life cycle. So things must have a triage accepted label, have an assignee, um, be tracked and everything. So these this timeline represents that terms and conditions. So when you create an issue, you can initially put it in here and it'll have this issue has been created completion and then you will go through until your issue is done so good quality issue is defined here you have to have all the labels you have to have the story points or the epic spike you have to wait till it's triaged and then you have to plan it issue is tracked on a github project board it's been planned for sprint as an assignee and an issue is worked on which looks at a uh, thoth project boards if it's not on a thoth project board there's no way for it to be tracked so that's just a limitation of github api but most of our issues are going to be tracked on Thoth project boards. So you can see that this is being, this is, a, it is not on a GitHub project boards in progress column, but it has an open pull request and it's lifecycle active. So that also signifies that it's being worked on. But you can tell since it's not on a board, it's not planned because it's not, uh, it's tracked on a project board, but this must mean that it's not on a project boards in progress column. This, if we go to the issue, we can see it's in backlog right now. So the issue is in backlog, but it's um, not planned for a sprint, but it's being worked on, which is why you're getting this error right here. Um, so a user can go through and see like what is going on with their issue. You can, some issues will, let's pull up other ones to see if we get different results. Like this one, this one, is missing a SIG label, so that's why it's causing issues. Or, well, this is the same one, wasn't it? This one, yeah, this one might be missing, um, this one's missing story points. So it's a tool for both developers to see if their issue is following the correct criteria for Thoth. It's also a tool for, community members to see like, hey, is my issue being worked on? Where is it at? Because a lot of the times if someone's new to GitHub, they might look at this and be like, I have no idea what all these tags mean. I have nothing, I have no clue. Is it being worked on? Maybe. But this will basically tell you where it's at. You have a little bit of other metadata down here, like your author, your assignees, um, tags, as well as like link pull requests and linked issues, which you can also navigate to if you want, if you want to. You can tell if they're merged or closed. And yeah, that's essentially it. Another cool feature that was just added too is you can share this as you can see, like say I wanted to do um, this one. Um, this is gonna update the URL. So then I can just paste this in here and then everybody can access that and go to the same page that I was looking at. Oh, this is also an example of um, an issue from another author. So if you're not, Sometimes there's issues because it, this was in a different, this is in um, 
AICOE and not Thaw Station. So it's not, even though it's on our board, we can't tell that it's on our board because it just goes in as a note, which is why there's errors right here. But that's something I think we just need to either know in advance or I think I'll add a check later if it becomes confusing. But yeah, is there any questions on the demo? If you are hovering over issue is created, the left one, yeah, is the explanation popping up? Because I think I needed to click on it. Yeah, you have to click on it. It's not hover. It's a. Okay. It's a click. That's that's just um, I use uh, what is it called? Pattern fly. I think that's yes. what's called. Pattern fly is that um, one that Red Hat uses for a lot of their stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, this is just their timeline tool, and that's what it is. I mean, if it's a big UI issue, I can go in and actually change it a little bit more manually to make it hoverable. But... I, I was just confused because the dotted line clearly indicates there's more, but yeah. hovering over it didn't work. So I clicked on it and found the information. It yeah, it, give, it gives you the, the little hand thing. I agree. I think hovering would be nicer, but yeah. it is nice that you can kind of, it's its own thing and you don't yeah. have to be under it the whole time. Yeah. Cool. Thanks uh, for that one. Any any other questions, comments? It it looks very cool, but uh, you know, just uh, wearing my new user uh, hat, and I'm looking at this issue you have here. You see, it has a link pull request that has been merged. Uh, why is it still open? Um, I, mean, um, I can I mean, make a guess, but yeah, it it's a good question because. Uh, where where was that issue? I think, I mean, this was my issue. So I was waiting for acceptance. It still got, um, I mean, technically it still got this spike to talk about. I think um, yeah. I was in the process of talking to the user to see if they wanted to close it or not. So I think if you were a user and this was your issue and you'd go see like, oh, it's done. I think you might go there and see like, oh, okay. Yeah. Is this, I think, it, yeah, it's just waiting for acceptance. That could also be a bullet point too, like waiting for it, um, author acceptance, but that isn't necessarily a, a step in our terms and conditions. Could be. Yeah, Dominic, um, we are working on the, once the time to cl uh, close issue or time to close, I think it's time to close uh, PR right now is what we're making. That'll be included in here. So because it's just some API, we'll be able to say like, oh, this um, if this API, I mean, if this issue is open still or this PR is still open, you're going to get like an estimated time based on a model of when it will be closed. Yeah, that's in the works. Yeah. And um, maybe for open pull request, a link to the, the prowl thing could be good because then you see a status why 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 is it uh, not merged if it's yeah. yeah no yeah it's uh, difficult might be both interesting information right the github pull request itself and the meta information from ci right it's it's a, it's a balance between not like flooding this too much with yeah, yeah, yeah. information but you're right there could be a whole another maybe a drop down or something to see or maybe add more information if there is errors stuff like yeah. that I'm nice. not sure how much is available through the API. I, I haven't looked at that, but that could be another feature. Oh. Cool. Thanks uh, for that one, uh, Gage. I guess you can stop recording for your demo. Then we're going to see how we publish it to YouTube.